Oh, what's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the new version of Home Builder, the add-on designed to help you design interior architectural spaces in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember, Home Builder is an add-on that we've talked about before in the past that's basically designed to help you create walls, floors, roofs, cabinets, other things like that inside of Blender. Now, you might remember that when we talked about Home Builder previously, um, it was, kind of built on this other version of Blender called PyClone. So it was basically a tool that required you to install a separate version of Blender in order to use. So this new version is super exciting because it's been implemented as a standard Blender add-on, meaning that we no longer have to use that custom version of Blender in order to use it. You can just download it, install it as a standard add-on. You can also download this for free by going down to the download the Home Builder add-on link um, in the middle of the page. So I'll link to this in the notes below this video. You install this like any other Blender add-on. You can download this from his page, which I will link to in the notes down below. That's going to give you this Home Builder zip file that you install as an add-on and enable. Now, there are some new features in here um, that he talks about a little bit, but what I really want to draw some attention to is specifically, there's some things that he's still working on. So like, for example, the documentation is going to get better. Um, he's working on a tool that lets you create those 2D layout views, so like documents, and he's working on migrating that existing asset library. So if you remember, he had a paid asset library um, that he was using to kind of like fund the project and his time. That's something he is working on um, getting moved over into this new version. So if you purchase that, he is working on getting that built into this brand new rewrite of Home Builder. Um, and then finally, he is working on implementing some geometry nodes, which I will be super excited to see what he can do with that. But Let's jump over into Blender and take a look at this. So if we jump over into Blender, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your preferences, so file preferences, and you just wanna make sure that you install that zip file, which in this case is going to be called Home Builder right here. So you're just gonna check the box right here um, for Home Builder in order to enable that once you install it. And if you do want it to auto check for updates, you can check this box right here. So you can set the interval, which is super helpful. So if you don't want this doing this all the time, you can set it to every like 30 days or 14 days, whatever you want. But now let's draw some stuff using this tool. So the way that you find this is you tap the in letter key on your keyboard in order to pop this out. And so this is going to pop out this little window right here with all the different things that you can draw and create in Blender. And so let's say for example that I wanted to create a room. Well, there's an option in here that gives us the ability to draw a wall. So what I can do is once I do this, once I click on draw wall, I can just come in here in Blender and I can click in order to draw the wall. Now note that when you draw the wall, what this is gonna do is this is going to give you kind of a preview with the length um, and you can come in here and click in order to set your walls. And one of the cool things about this is this is adjusting based on where you move your mouse, or you can also type in a value. So for example, notice how I can type in values for my wall lengths right here. So another cool thing about this is if you click and then you get to a point where you want to close this in, you can tap the C key on your keyboard and that's going to close your wall. And if you tap the C key, that's going to close you out of this. Alternatively, if you are drawing a wall in here like this and you want out of it, you can either right click or hit the escape key to get out of that tool as well. And so one of the cool things about these walls is you can actually come in here and you can see different things about the walls. So for example, notice how when I click on these, those wall lengths are going to show up and adjust. And so you can come in here and you can adjust the length or the height of these walls like this just by typing in new values. So each one of these individual walls um, shows up in here. You can also right click on the walls and notice how there's an option in here for wall prompts. You can adjust just this one wall in here like this. Now I'm not sure if you select multiple walls and then click on wall prompts. Yeah, I don't think you can select multiple walls at once. I think you can only select one wall and adjust it at the moment, but you can come in here and you can make those changes. You can also click on the current room option in here and you can click on collect walls. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna find all of the walls that are in here um, and you can select them. You can also view them individually. 
So for example, if I wanted to see this wall right here, I can click on view and that's going to isolate just this wall right here. And so note that you can toggle between perspective and orthographic by clicking on this button right here. Um, you can also add floors. So if you want a floor, notice if I click on add floor, what that's going to do is that's going to add a floor that kind of encompasses um, all of the walls that I've drawn in here like this, but you can use that to quickly add a floor. And so note that you can go into your unit settings and change this. So if you're from America, like I am, you can switch this to metric or you can switch this to imperial or you can switch it to metric and notice how the units in here are going to change. All right, so now where this really gets, gets interesting is if you click on this products button right here, note that you may have to click on a little menu that makes you enable Python scripts in order for this to work. Um, I've already done that, so it doesn't pop up on my window, but notice how you're gonna have this drop down, and it's gonna give us the ability to add doors and windows. It's gonna give us the ability to add bathroom fixtures and cabinets. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to drag a door in here. What you can do is you can select doors, and then you can just click on it, and then mouse over your model. And notice what this is doing is this is automatically snapping to these home builder walls like this. And so if I click, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna add this door in here automatically. One of the cool things about this is this is automatically cutting an opening in here for this door. So you can use this to add doors as well as windows. So let's say we wanted to add a large window in here. I could just mouse over this, click on it, and it'll place the window. And remember, that just like with the uh, walls, you can select things like your windows and go back to your window prompts and you can customize them. So for example, let's say I wanted this to be maybe a six foot by four foot like this, that's gonna come in here and that's going to adjust this. And you can also adjust things like the quantity of windows and the offset between them using this little slider right here. And then once you're done with this, you can just click on OK. So your door is going to have similar prompts, right? You can adjust the direction of the swing. You can adjust if this is a double door as well as the direction that the door is going to swing. There's other things that you can adjust in here as well, um, but that should give you a pretty good idea. You can also adjust how open that door is like this. And one of the cool things about that is you can come back in here and adjust it again, right? It's not like a single time thing. So if you make another change, you can come in here and make as many changes as you want. And one thing to note is as he migrates his asset library over here, you're gonna have more options for different things that you can do with this. But we've also got things like cabinets. So let's say that we wanted to add some cabinets in here. You can just click in order to select cabinets. And so I'm gonna drag this cabinet in here like this. And so one thing I have not figured out and maybe I'm just missing it is I can only seem to place this on one side of the wall and not on the other side of the wall. So for whatever reason, it's placing this on this outside of the wall. I mean, that's not like a deal breaker for me, but it is kind of odd. So I keep looking for a button or something like that that's going to fix that, but I'm not really finding it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw another wall over here, then we can just select these walls and we'll just add a floor based on these walls. But let's say that we were to drag in a cabinet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on products. Let's go ahead, let's drag this cabinet in. So notice how when I do that, I can snap that to the wall right here. And so I can click and the cool thing about these cabinets is they're editable, meaning I can come in here and select this, right click, and then do things like your cabinet prompts. Well, with your cabinet prompts, you have the ability to do things like adjusting the width of your cabinets, as well as things like your heights, other things like that. So let's say I wanted these to be three feet high, I can do that using this tool. And then you can adjust the, the individual parts and pieces of these cabinets as well using these dis different options right here. Um, there are also some options if you go into your cabinet commands and you click on the place cabinet on wall, notice how this is gonna give you the ability to do things like aligning with parts of the wall. So you can align at the center, the left, you can also set it to fill left. So what that's going to do is that's going to place it based on the location you select and it's going to fill all the way across like this. And so you can adjust different things about your cabinets like the size and the construction as well as the hardware using this little drop down right here. But adding these cabinets is really easy. And notice how they also snap together. So if I move my mouse in here right and I mouse over this one, I can click um, in order to snap that to this other cabinet in here. So we could add maybe like some tall 
cabinets, as well as wall cabinets or uppers, just by dragging them in right here. And again, notice the snapping makes it really easy for us to do that. And so in addition, we've got things like appliances. So let's say that I wanted to add a range in here. I can click and drag this range and it's going to place this inside of the 3D space just like this. So we've got our different appliances in here. So let's say I wanted a refrigerator as well. I can use this in order to bring that in. Note that we can come in here and jump over into material preview mode in order to see materials on these. And so notice how we do have some materials built in. So we're gonna talk about how to apply these custom materials a little bit later in the video. So just check the bookmarks for where that starts. And so one other thing to note with these cabinets is if you click on this drop down right here, notice how there's an option here for a shaker door or a slab door. So if we click on the shaker door and then bring this in, notice how this is gonna build this out with the shaker front on it rather than the slab front right here. So there's currently two styles of cabinet door that you can create in here and I'm hoping he's going to be adding more in the future. And so there are some interesting options in this build library. Like for example, say that you wanted to add more like some shelving or something like that. You can drag just these openings in here like this. We're going to drag it in. We'll go ahead and click on this wall in order to place this, but we've got the ability to add different inserts to these. So for example, if I drag cubbies in here, this is gonna allow me to add cubbies to one of these closets. You can also add doors, um, you can add shelves. So if I click in here um, in order to add these shelves, notice how that's really easy to do as well. So you could also add like a shoe shelf, just a bunch of really interesting things contained inside of this release. And then again, if you come in here and you select them, you can right click and you can adjust the prompts, right? So you get the number of shelves that are in here, as well as you can adjust the spacing of the shelves and the space from the bottom. So you can kind of build your own shelves in here using this tool as well. And so let's say we wanted to change the material of these cabinets, you can go over into the materials section right here and notice how there's door and window materials, there's room materials. Um, in this case, we want our sample cabinet materials, but let's say we wanted these to be like a black or a white. So what you can do is you can take this and you can drag it. And so we wanna drag this into our scene and then we just wanna click. And so when we do that, what that's going to do is that's going to pop up this little assign material dialogue. And that's gonna give us the ability to override all of the cabinet door surfaces, for example. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on the update all and I'm gonna click on the update all again. We're gonna click on okay and what that's done is that's overridden the cabinet doors with this white cabinet material. We could do it again on the side doors. So if I click in here and I update this, I'm just gonna go ahead and update all of these but notice how now my cabinets are in here with this white material. You could also adjust it with this black material. So it's really easy to do to come in here and adjust all of these. All right, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. This is one of the better implementations I've seen so far of interior design software in Blender. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. I will link to the free download in the notes down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.